Imagine getting stung by a deadly scorpion and feeling nothing. There's a tiny animal out there that does exactly that. While other creatures run from danger, this one runs toward it fearless, bold, and almost invincible. This isn't a superhero story. It's real, and it might change how we think about pain forever. Pain helps us survive. It tells us when something is wrong. But what if an animal could switch that off just, ignore it completely? In the dry deserts of North America, there lives a mouse that can. It's called the grasshopper mouse, and it hunts venomous bark scorpions without flinching. Scientists were puzzled. How could such a small creature take on something so deadly and win? The answer lies deep inside its body in the way it feels pain. Or doesn't. This tiny mouse doesn't just survive, it rewrites the rules of nature. And its secret might help us change how humans deal with pain too. The desert is not a kind place. It's hot, dry, unforgiving. Every day is a fight to stay alive. Animals that live here have adapted in amazing ways camouflage, speed, or sharp senses. But one animal has something stranger, something you wouldn't expect. Meet the bark scorpion. Its sting can paralyze small animals. Even humans feel a sharp, burning pain that can last for hours. Some people even end up in the hospital after a sting. It's a creature you don't want to mess with, so most animals avoid it. They know better, but not the grasshopper mouse. This tiny creature doesn't run, it hunts. Yes, you heard that right. A mouse that hunts scorpions. It's only a few inches long, barely the size of your thumb. But when it sees a bark scorpion, it doesn't freeze in fear. It rises up on its back legs and lets out a high-pitched cry, almost like a tiny wolf howl. Then it moves in, fast. It dodges the scorpion's tail, grabs it with its teeth, and bites through its hard shell. The scorpion strikes back, over and over. Each sting is filled with venom strong enough to take down larger animals. But the mouse doesn't stop. It keeps going, bite after bite, until the scorpion is still. Then, without hesitation, it eats it. Every bit. Even the stinger. Watching this feels unreal. How can something so small defeat a creature so dangerous? What gives the grasshopper mouse this strange and fearless power? To understand the answer, scientists needed to look deep inside the mouse. They wanted to know, why doesn't the venom work? Why doesn't the mouse feel pain like other animals do? They started with the basics. When most animals get stung, the venom activates special nerve cells called nociceptors. These cells send a message to the brain that says, pain, danger, get away. It's how all living things stay safe. But in the grasshopper mouse, something strange happens. When the venom enters its body, the message doesn't get through. Instead of activating pain, the venom is blocked, silenced. Scientists found a small mutation in the mouse's pain receptor change in the sodium channel in its nerve cells. This tiny shift stops the venom from opening the gate that sends pain signals to the brain. It's like putting a lock on a door and throwing away the key. Even more surprising? The venom actually works in reverse. Instead of causing pain, it shuts off the pain pathway even more. It numbs the area. Yes, this mouse gets stung by one of the most painful creatures in the desert and feels nothing. This is not just a cool trick. It's survival. Without this mutation, the mouse would be just another victim. And it's not just one type of venom it can handle. The grasshopper mouse has shown resistance to several toxins, not just from bark scorpions, but also other insects. Its whole body is built to ignore pain, to keep fighting when others would flee. Could this strange ability help us unlock a new way to stop pain in people too? This kind of power doesn't happen overnight. The grasshopper mouse didn't just wake up one day immune to pain. It took millions of years slow, quiet changes passed down through time. Each generation faced danger. Each one fought harder to survive. The bark scorpion, once an ordinary predator, got deadlier with each step of evolution. Its venom became stronger. Its sting turned from a warning into a weapon. It was nature's way of giving it an edge. Most animals gave up. They learned to stay away. Some tried and failed, but not the grasshopper mouse. Instead of running, it adapted. The few mice that could survive the sting passed on their hidden advantage. 
and with every generation, the resistance grew. More and more of these tiny warriors began to feel nothing at all. Nature was picking its champion, a mouse that could take on poison and win. But this wasn't a one-sided fight. The scorpions fought back too. As the mice got tougher, the venom got sharper. And so began an endless cyclean arms race built by survival. Venom versus nerve. Stinger versus tooth. Each one trying to outsmart the other. Scientists have a name for this, an evolutionary arms race. It's when two species push each other to evolve. Neither side can stop. If one does, it loses. And there's something else. The grasshopper mouse isn't just immunites clever. It doesn't attack blindly. It learns. It watches. It figures out where to strike. It dodges the tail. It moves with purpose. Like a tiny desert soldier trained by time itself. How many other animals are locked in secret battles like this shaping each other, one sting at a time? When scientists discovered how the grasshopper mouse shuts off pain, they didn't just smile in wonder. They leaned in. Because this wasn't just a fun fact, it could be something big. Something life-changing. Chronic pain is one of the hardest problems in medicine. Millions of people around the world suffer every single day. Back pain, nerve pain, cancer pain. For some, it never goes away. And for many, the treatments don't really help. Most painkillers come with risks. Some are addictive. Some lose their power over time. Some hurt more than they help. But then came this tiny mouse walking through fire like it's nothing. What if we could copy that? What if we could understand exactly how it blocks pain? And then use that knowledge to build new medicine? Researchers are now studying the mouse's genes and nervous system. They're focused on a special protein that stops the venom from triggering pain. It's like a natural switch that turns pain oftenly when needed. And that's the amazing part. The mouse doesn't lose all feeling. It still senses danger. It still reacts to real harm. But it blocks the bad signals, the useless pain. If we could do the same, we might have a new kind of treatment. One that's targeted, safe, and powerful. Without addiction or side effects. It could be a breakthrough for millions. Nature may have already solved a problem we've been chasing for decades. And it did it through a small desert mouse no one expected. Could the secret to pain-free living really begin with this tiny, fearless creature? The grasshopper mouse may be small, but its story is massive. It reminds us that even the tiniest creatures can hold great power. By turning pain into nothing, it's not just surviving, it's teaching us. Teaching us that nature has already solved problems we still struggle with. Maybe, one day, what helps this mouse fight scorpions will help people fight pain too. How many other quiet miracles are out there? waiting for us to notice them. If this amazed you, imagine what else nature is hiding. Like, comment, and subscribe to keep exploring with us. And don't forget to watch our next video. It's even wilder.